हे व्हाट्सअप गाइज वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग एब्सोल्युटली फाइन टुडे आई एम गोना टॉक अबाउट थ्री प्रो डिजाइन टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स दैट यू कैन ट्राई विथ पिक्सल लैप एंड दिस इज द पार्ट टू वीडियो सो पार्ट वन वीडियो विल बी अप इन द कार्ड यू कैन गो एंड वॉच दैट वीडियो आउट आफ्टर दिस वीडियो बट बिफोर आई स्टार्ट दिस वीडियो आई जस्ट वॉन्ट थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू हु कॉमेंटेड मी एंड डी एम्ड मी ऑन इंस्टाग्राम थैंक यू गाइज आई ट्राई टू पुट ऑल योर नेम्स ऑन द स्क्रीन and if you want to join my telegram group where i will po- i'll be posting a lot of free stuffs like pngs stock footages stock images and a lot of stuff so just go head over to telegram app search for amazing play yt and join that group and be the part of amazing play family let's not just waste any more time and let's get this video started three pro tips and tips for pixel lab let's get started so the first effect that we are going to look at is plant leaf shadow effect actually this shadow effect i have been using it recently on my thumbnails and some of you really asked me that how did i do it so here is a tip and trick for the for this effect to get this effect you will need a png or something like this photo of a leaves and uh, you can find this leaf effect or a png on my telegram channel so just uh, download that png and just put it on your layers once you get that apply shadow effects onto that png and reduce opacity to zero once you do that you will be seeing something like this now this is your shadow effect put it wherever you want to have it on your design you know you can use this uh, effect to balance out your design and it will look much better if you do that now play around the shadow effects once again you know just put the settings back and forward the radius blur and the darkness of the effect once you do that it is pretty much done you know you can try different pngs you can try different images and uh, you know do your own settings i just have one setting over here you can apply whatever you do whatever you want and uh, it will look some real good as you can see i have another png over here and if i do that you know it looks much better the design will add more static to your designs and you know you can use this effect to balance out your design if you have a white space you can use it over there and uh, yeah this is a best shadow effect that I, i can suggest you to use on your designs especially for thumbnails and instagram posts it will look much better this is it let's head over to the next effect so the second effect for this video is paper torn effect you know if you tear out the paper the effect that it will give you can create that effect in pixel lab now in order to create this effect you will need an image i will provide this image on to my telegram app so just head over download that and bring it to your layers in pixel lab once you do that this image will look like this crop it out and this is your effect that can create a torn effect paper torn effect into your pixel lab now once you do that uh, just create a png uh, mask out the white color out of it even you can do that vice versa you know masking out the black color out of it but just do as it is and you can try out your own once you do that change it to white color you know you can also choose a gray color which will add a more texture to it or even you can add a paper texture onto this file once you do that copy this image once again and select some different color so you know this will be like a white paper and a different color on top of that it will create some real good torn effect as you can see now select uh, i will i'll be selecting a layer option over here you know i have a very much big banks place that i have to fill and i will use the same color as the image like this one Now once you do that it looks real good if you use the right combination of the image and the torn effect it will create some great real good effect uh, don't forget to f- apply the shadow effect on that onto that some mild shadow that's it 
may be a little bit yeah uh, it looks good now here you can see this blank place where you can add any of your text like this and some real good image can create some real nice effect also you know let me present you to with a with within a ni nice way and then i'm gonna present you let's uh, create some white space for the image and i will place this text in uh, text layer over here lock this image right here these are the effects let's combine them together you know merge so yeah this is it uh, maybe we can even copy this effect you know yes let's copy it and apply it to the other side let's tilt it a bit a uh, bit yes okay so now we have copied this effect now it looks like that someone tilted the middle part out and the image is showing beneath it this is how it looks and you can use to create a lot of good effects with it you just go creative and this is it the third transform effect the text transform effect of this video is like transforming the text into something a typography you know thing so this tip is actually helpful if you are looking for something presentable for your text in your design and uh, for that you will need two words let's say any words that go together and they are approximately similar to uh similar to each other by their letter size you know the count of letter that they have they should be similar both of them and you will have to choose a font which is more of a 90 degree angles you know there should be sharp angles to the font you cannot use this effect with the fonts which has a lot of curves you know so if you do have those fonts and if you do want to use that fonts into your design you can use this transform effect to make this design you know this typography look much better now i have a graphic uh, text over here and i will copy it once again and i will you know rename it to something else let's let's say design yeah i'll type a design over here now as you can see these two words are actually similar to each other not exactly but quite a bit now once you do that place them like this onto your layers and uh, you know maybe change the color to look it more good uh, yes I, this looks good once you do that now you will have to select one word maybe a, zoom it a little bit select one word and go to transform here, here it is you know this will transform this whatever you call it i call it transform once you do that select this effect on and try to pinch it down the one corner of the word you know just like i am doing on the screen you can just copy how i am doing it and just do this once you do the first word first word then try to try the same on to the second word let's try this uh, like this you know don't go out of the lines don't go out of the corner lines just make sure that they are into the lines and they do won't go out of the square lines as you can see here and try to fit them like they make a perfect square even if they are not actually equal size and uh, this is how it looks you know maybe you can tweak a little bit of transform on both the words and you know make it more perfect I'll, I'll try to do it on this side you know this side looks a bit uh, a bit far away from the put up world maybe we will choose some different fonts so as I, as i said in the in the and the first of this effect we can choose some different fonts which are like there are only particular fonts that you can choose to apply this effect on let's uh, try it out with different font now this font looks actually much better yeah this this is looking nice this font looks real good 
all together no you will you will have to make sure that whatever transformer transformer transformation you do with the text you will have to keep in mind that it should still you know present the square including those two words so this has to be the best square that you have made okay so once you create this one it this will look something like this and a little bit space in between them now this is it you know now you, maybe you can try out more effects onto it maybe let's say something came into same came in in between to those words and you know slice them off so yeah let's add more statical elements to this design just to show you guys i'm going to add some random you know shapes over here let's copy this one to onto this other side as well yeah maybe change this color to the second text yeah now i'm going to draw something over here you know just uh, fill in inside this you will have to put this effect on like fill inside and create some you know a slicing effect particular effect this is it you know this will look much better like something came through this word square and this is how it will look in the at the end you can use this onto your thumbnails designs as well as give, go creative and uh, this is pretty much it with this video these are the three pro tips that i have maybe i will come up with other designs and tips and tricks with other videos so be sure you stick to the channel and subscribe right now and i'll catch you guys in my next video